Every day, I pass the door. Just a little more curious than the time before. I've lived around the walkway from her for six months. Have spent on bent knees, the other spent on lead blunts. But today, today I was sober as a judge. Cleaner than soap suds. Sitting on the front porch, she passes. Cracked her licorice whip eyelashes. She speaks perfect Spanish. I'm even pretty sure she speaks a little English. Didn't have the cojones to find out what her name is, so for now, I call her Dawn. Like maybe she's the one that lifts the sun over the hills right after she drops her kids off at school. Unwittingly works a 24-hour job as a tool promoting national ID cards with RFID chips with borders like rules, y'all. They're meant to be bent. Freedom can't be an inalienable right as long as government mentality exists because the leaders have a habit of forgetting the Mexicans are terrorists. Above her lives a kid working shit jobs I wouldn't shit on gratefully. Just happy that his father's social security number is still working properly. He lives a life in gratitude of his status as a junior. It's peculiar how good people are products of proper documentation. Because last time I checked, compassion didn't take vacations. Just wouldn't be prudent. Y'all, he smokes just as much pot as any other college student. He's the most American non-citizen I know. His mother stands so proud she blows. Powerful like a black panther fist, like we must resist. She's five feet of concrete that will not be moved by the migra. She drifts like holy breath. She's a life so hard she makes bricks look bitch. Because a mother's love is the only thing that can defeat a super fence. Y'all just taste the tamales. And lend your ear for a minute. And she'll tell you stories of morning glories passing beneath her feet like yellow road strips. Focusing her best not to drop her baby because there's a point in risking everything. If you lose the only thing worth saving. She smiled. Took a sip of her hot drink. Her eyes were so deep brown they made her coffee look weak. She is my understanding of heritage. I don't deserve to be an American, but she's not the definition of what one is. Wish I could slit my wrists and paint her red, white, and blue. Go downstairs and douse the dawn, too. Thank them for all the work they do to inspire freedom riders to spell pictures and colors of ethnocentrism has yet to imagine. To love people more than our Constitution ever fathomed. But we're too busy worried about who's mowing our neighbor's lawn to realize that there's something fundamentally wrong, so fight on, you son lifters. Smuggle in your brothers and sisters. Take my job if you need it. Write poetry and words that I will speak it. It reminds me of X bit when he says to whatever means necessary. I plead to foreign countries. Send us your hungry, your tired, your poor, and your restless. Cause stereotypes of government high supply for scare tactics to shut down the borders. Free speech is just an American dream now that they pass the gag orders. And we can't build a fascist nation without thinking about retaliation to demonstrations. But Tom's coming down on American souls like jokes about green cards on hardworking years. When blood, sweat, and tears are earned to a piece of this pie, I lose my appetite. Like, maybe we should translate, do not think quietly into that good night out of English, so we can know what it is to work hard enough to deserve to read it. Until then, my home is your home. Make my face familiar. I am your familiar. And one day, we'll make one united immigrant nation together.